What's up, it's your boy that Dragon J. Back at it with another Monster on the Rise video. Today we're gonna continue from where we left off. Um, I pre-recorded, I recorded two videos before, but they messed up. So some of the hunts um I already did, but I can't go back and well, I can't go back and redo them. But instead, I'm just gonna show you the cussing that played during one of those hunts for the rampage, and then I'm going to continue with um the normal hunting routine. But um, it did mess up for some weird reason. I don't know why, but we're going to do that. And then we'll continue with the hunt. Also, um, before we continue, I want to give a quick thank you for stopping by. Gallery, there we go. Story cutscenes. There we go. So I'm going to play this. But I also want to give you a quick thank you for stopping by, tuning in. Thank you, appreciate you for that. So I'm gonna let this cutscene play out. Hey. Looks like things have calmed down a bit. Elder Fugen wants us to go back to camp. The big boy itself. That's messed up. He has drawers like that. Why do his drawers like that? That's messed up. He has drawers shimmed up by the neck. That monster is known as Magnum Malo. It appears alongside the rampage and feeds on the horde. It eats them? Fifty years ago, the rural village is an animal. <laughs> rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. So that could happen again? What? Don't worry, Yavoki. This time around, we have a skilled hunter by our side. That is true. I want you that is very to true. Slay Magnamala for us. We need you to protect Kamura Village. the spirit however this is something that needs to be handled by a hunter Kamura is more than steel and hunters the two of you should focus on the things you do best the things we do best You two have to be strong every day. That way, the answer will come to you before long. <laughs> right. Let's head back to the village.
All right, so I think our two hunts for the day are going to be. Let's see who the lucky monster is. Our two hunts for the day is going to be. Here's the quest list. Well, looks like Basarios and Tobagachi is our two unlucky victims. So we're gonna start off with Basarios. We're gonna beat the mess out of Tobagachi. So we're going to change to our Gunland set because Basarios cannot fly. Uh, he's never been to fly any iteration of Miles Hunter, so we're going to change to our Gunland set. Huh? Whatever. Aoife Blader, and then we're going to see what he's weak against, and he's go from there. Give me the usual. Dragon, all right. of the night, fragrant blossoms bloom, as bandits prowl out of sight, a sudden resounding boom, this is not the mountain's roar, do not be mistaken. What seem like rocks are rocks no more. And as soon as they awaken, the monster shows its actual form. Both prey and earth are shaken. Here we go. All right, let's get it. <clears throat> Nah, we don't need no bombs. Ranga, come here, boy. No. All right, so like always, I get all of my buffs before I go to hunt. I don't care what DLC you hunt on, you get your buffs. They save you. If you you never don't fight a monster without being buffed, you will regret it. Cause monsters have a tendency to sometimes do one hit KO moves. That normally don't one hit you, but guess what? Ha <laughs> ha! They decide to make it a one hit randomly, and it sucks. But you can avoid that if you have all your buffs and you are have a good health, like well healed and all that good stuff. So get your buffs. Anyway, now the right uh, the route I uh, yeah I like to go is um I usually go up there and follow through to get that um mining note, 
so that way I get buffs and money no because materials you gonna always is good all it's always good to have and sell and then I'll go up here to get my silk spider and this is for the lot the lava map stop Ronda I'm about to freaking so you get your god bug gets god bug you get your puppet spider and then you get some more buffs um, and puppet spiders are always good. You know what I mean? You can use them to bring a monster to beat another monster with. You know? It's always fun beating a monster with a monster. <laughs> wink, wink. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so we do that. So go up there and get that buff. Then we come back, go across the bridge. See? This, this is all a process. This, this is the route I use. Go across the bridge. Um... Go across the bridge, get this buff, and by the time you're done going this route, you should. So by the time you're done going this route, you should at least have either full stamina or close to full stamina. Um, oh, look at that, Rathos. Yeah, so by the time you get finished going through this route, you should have either close to full stamina or full stamina. I have no idea what I just activated. Stop it. Alright, so then we're going to get our puppet spider. Because, you know, as, as our name says, we is that dragon, Jay. And dragons is what we do. Ah. I'm so glad I didn't set it down. Now. Got it. So. As the name implies. Um, just as our name implies. We love dragons on this channel. You know. We love dragons. That is our shtick. You know. That's what we do. So of course we got to get our girl Rathy in. You feel me. And put the beast on this dude. Oh. oh you think he nice? Hold up. Hold up. Mmm, you think he nice. Mmm, got him. Hold up. Boop, boop, boop. Got him. Ooh, we nice with it. Hold up. Mmm, get him, Rathian. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Ah, we're gonna do the finisher now. Mmm, love my dragons, baby. Let's go. So we're just gonna get our shinies real quick, you know. Boop. Always remember to pick up your shinies. Always. Also, um, something else that um, I don't know if it's a known fact. Um, I don't know how well people know this fight. But if you knock over Basarios, you can actually mine his back for like ore and whatnot. So. Dang it. See right there? I shouldn't have died. I should just held my shield. Come on. Ooh, tail. Ooh. 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 Hold up. Mmm. Block it. Got it. Mmm. Mmm. Hold up. You're going to hit with the worm stick. Ooh. Shut up and take it. Ooh. Shut up and take it. Do not. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up and take it. Shut up! Hold up, ain't over. Mm. I'm hit. Mm, that's expert dodging right there. That's how you dodge, baby. Hold up, I'm gonna give him another worm stick. Shut up and take it. Mm. Mm. So if you go over while he's knocked over, you can actually. So if you like, why if you knock a Basar's over, just like I, just like I just did. If you go over when he's knocked over, you can actually get a couple more mines off. Which is usually really good. Um, especially if you're, um... Ooh, ooh, get him. Shut up. Mmm, give me that face. Mm, shut up and take it. Ooh! But it's usually good. I mean, you get the extra materials for, um, making this armor. As well as actually selling and whatnot. Because you need some materials to make his armor. And I think you can mine his back like three times, I believe. Dang it. I shouldn't have rolled right there. That's fine, though. Let him do his attack. 
See, Gunlands, Gunlands is all about patience. Mm. See that? Gunlands is all about patience. You don't gotta be all, you don't gotta be all like hasty with a gun lance as long as you're doing damage. It's all about that patience. Bam, bro. Hold you shut up and take it. What do you, what we tell him? Then we tell him shut up and take it. Anyway, if you stay here for this long and you join the content, make sure you follow the prompts at the bottom of the screen and subscribe to the Dragon Nation as well as hit that bell for notifications so that we're notified whenever I drop a new video, any updates that I have on my channel. In a variety of content that I provide on my channel when it drops. So that being said, we're gonna get into the second match. I mean, second hunt, and um, we're gonna put some beats on somebody else. I believe I said Tobagachi. I believe I said it was Tobagachi is gonna be very off in Basario and Tobagachi this video. So next hunt, it's gonna be Tobagachi. We're gonna put the beats on him, and then um, see where that takes us. I wish that I wish you could immediately complete the hunt so you don't gotta wait through the time limit, but eh, it is what it is. Alright, so we're gonna go to a water. Cause Toba Gaji speaking against water, so we're gonna go go water. Um always always remember to eat. Always remember to eat. You forget to eat, you're gonna be in big trouble. Always remember to eat. It's gonna be our usual set. Also, even if you don't, even if you don't use your items, always get in the habit of refilling your item pouch because when often you do use your items and you forget, you're gonna regret it. Before you start, one little tip. Whatever weapon you choose to uh, make, or you main, I suggest that you get an element for every weapon, for um for the weapon. So, say if you use like, lance, right? I suggest you get an element for, every element for the lance, meaning water, fire, thunder, ice, and dragon. And the reason being, if you go into a hunt, where it's a single or it's a multi-hunt, and they have a common weakness, you can get more damage off and exploit that weakness, but on the off chance they don't, you always want to have a status element to weapon, whether it's blast, perilous, poison. So that way if you go into multi-hunt and they don't have the common weakness, you can at least have something that could do decent damage and either damage them over time, stop them from moving to get additional hits, or just after a set amount of time, give you a set amount of bonus damage from the explosion. So, wherever you make weapons, Wherever you want to main a weapon, make sure that you at least want to keep that in mind. Because it'll make you get a lot easier. And if you go in there with a weapon that they're resistant against, you're just going to make the hunt take longer. A flying 
shadow stalking through the night. Silent as the wind with eyes shining bright. Always craving blood, lightning running through its fur. When it sleeps down on its prey, all becomes a blur. So I have a route for this um, area as well. This is the flooded forest. I do have a route for this area, which I will show you right now. Uh, it's a pretty simple, quick route, but like I said before, it's always good to have a route. <clears throat> that way you can get your bus very quickly, um, very easily, and then um, immediately get into the fight. Get the wire bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna take it. Oh, we're not gonna take it. Oh, we're not gonna take it anymore. Blastoads, very good item to use, very good item to have. Um, they can gar they guarantee a knockover if you hit a monster with them, and just in oh god. And in general, they're very good to use. It's 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 a guaranteed um. Uh, excuse me, it's a guaranteed knockover if you hit a monster with it. That's just um, that's just more additional hits on um, with additional damage. There. Now th this is the route that I personally run. Once again, you don't have to run this route, but I've had the most success running this route. Because you usually max out your stuff by the time um, you get finished running this route. There you go. So by the time you get finished running this route that I just ran, and that's my route for this route. That's my route for this area. You usually have maxed out health, uh, maxed out stamina, as well as maxed out... Uh, Zing! But you have maxed out health, maxed out stamina, and, uh, well, close to maxed out health. Maxed out stamina, and you usually have... Um, a good amount of attack and defense buff. And um, just like I said before, you always want to make sure that you're getting the ride. Because this, it gives you additional materials and it just gives you additional damage when you have, um, when you, when you beat up monsters with other monsters. It just gives you additional damage and additional materials to make the hop faster. Um, easier, and you could potentially break off some parts with the monster that you can't break off with your weapon. So it's also a chance to get additional breaks as well. So definitely want to make sure you're always, always aware of that. And whenever you get a chance, may if you can get the monsters to fight each other, like do it. It's 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 worth it. Just do it. But right now we gotta get go um Toba Gadachi these hands. What up, Toby? I call him Toby. Gotta get Toby's buttery biscuit hand. Shut up and take it. Shut up and take it. Mm, there we go. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Out. All right. 
Dakota. He got that. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah. Yeah, fight back. Mm, fight back. Fight back, Toby. You mother. Fight back, Toby. Mm. 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 Uh, and, like, this is, this is how I usually use the gun lance. I feel like the gun lance is... There we go. At the end of the day, I feel like the gun lance is definitely a patience on um, pick your... There we go. My bad. I'm, like, having bad hiccups. But, um, I feel like the gun lance is a pick your, um, a pick your... The fricker. There we go. But I feel I feel like yeah, I feel like the gun lands is a very patient. You go in, get you a few hits. Um every now and then you do your worm, you unlock unload your shells, your shells, whether you choose to do it um by the ground slam or single. Um, you always want to make sure you have your buff on. That buff is just too good to not have on. You always want to make sure you have that on. Um, yeah, see this, that slide, that, um, that slide that I did, which is a silk blade, um, silk bug skill. You always want to make sure you have, shut up, Toby. You always want to make sure you have that on. That skill is very good and very useful. Um, that's the skill you get from doing the hunt. Uh, it's a hunt that you get. I believe it's in the hub at rank 4 star or 5 star. Where you get your third switchglaive skill. No, silk, you, get your third silk, you get your third switch skill. And um, that's what this slide is. Essentially, is you slide. An initial slide does damage, and then you can like slam down or use your worm stake from it. It depends. But um, what it does is that. Oh dang it! I can't do it because uh. But that fire animation you see on my on, on the gun lance now, that fire animation increases the damage of your worm blast, your worm stake, and your shells. Yeah. Which are your cartridges for your bullets. Um, tremendously. Especially if you stay within like that green sharpness range where you get maximum damage from your shells. It increases your damage exponentially. To a point where a shot that may do 50 damage depending on your build. With that buff and staying within that green sharpness. It can wind up going from 50 damage to like 63 damage. So it's definitely good to always have that buff up. And um... The way I like these gun lands, just pace, just take it, just you choose your hits essentially. Like it's a defense weapon. But that's gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, you're still here, make sure that you follow the prompt at the bottom right corner of the screen and jump up and smack that like button. Helps me get my YouTube videos and the YouTube algorithm helps my videos and my channel get recognized. Also, if there's content you want to see, um, tips you want to give me, I'm always open ears. I'm open for advice. Um. And just content that you're enjoying and you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. But I only know if you comment down below, so I can continue with the content that I'm providing if you like it or switch it up and do something different. So, with that being said, this is your boy, that Dragon J. And as always, no matter what you do, no matter what you start, no matter what you put your time into, stand up proud when you say it. Keep that same energy. I'll let y'all see y'all next time. Peace. I'm <laughs> sorry.